Hello and welcome. Hi, this is Tim. And Karen. <laughs> Last week, Karen said I was talking too loud, so no. I'm going to be real quiet. <laughs> said, it wasn't on this video, Tim. It was oh, on was something it? else because okay. I did it. If you guys are in the back porch stampers, I, you know I did a video with my friend Kathy. She was showing something and my voice was right up to the the microphone and my voice came across booming and Tim did the same thing on another. So he said, here, we're just fine. So anyway, it's just, you know, life in the <laughs> life in the recording. And I said, oh yes, but no, we're good here. This is what we're doing today. Fun shaker cards. We're going to get to that. Um, and the, the reason we're doing that, I actually did my 12 weeks of Christmas. I did this one and we had a lot of fun comments and I thought it's been a year since I've done faker shakers. So, uh, <laughs> That's what we call them. <laughs> and, you know, it's just fun to see what everyone does with an idea. So, you know, somebody asked me once, how do you come up with ideas for, for your Thursday lives? And for me. Yeah, from Tim. I no. usually defer to Tim. But, but what I'm always looking for is something that's really fun for us to all do and then to go share over in the Backport Stampers. And, you know, we do a drawing there every week for someone who participates and does something that relates to what we're doing on Thursday. So today it's going to be Faker Shakers. So Faker Shakers. It'll be fun. Karen, Karen sometimes asks my opinion. I says, why don't you ask me more often? She says, I know what I want more often. Sometimes when I don't. It's just if I'm 50-50, then, yeah. then I need then, your opinion. Yeah. And, and But look at the power you have then because mm -hmm. I go with your 50-50. If I'm doing a thumbnail or something and I give him the choice of two, hey, hey, yeah. he decides. So it's power. Oh, so good afternoon. We're so thrilled to have you guys with us. Can I just Kathy say said something? you love that Christmas shake, aren't you? I'm not sure. To our friends down under, I'm dressed like the sunshine. Okay. <laughs> spring and summer are coming. Oh, yeah, and he's and ready for that. I'm going to wear this the rest of the winter because it's going to get dark and cloudy and <laughs> cold. And... So, of course, before we get started, we've got mail. Oh, thanks, you guys, that share. I said that is the kindest thing you can do for us. Let's see, I'm gonna, I got to move some of this stuff off. It's all the little stuff we have to get through first. But we love, and I love how many of you say, it is so fun to see the cards you get from people. Um, and I must say, I feel the same. And, you know, coming up, I'm wondering if maybe we'll get like some Halloween cards or something. That might be fun. But anyway, yes. hello, friend. Oh, how cool is this? This is from Kelly Huntington from here in Minnesota. And that is so fun and a sweet letter inside. And she is doing the reverse. This was from our last um, All Good Cards Club. It's all about using chalk the pastels soft pastels and this is the reverse pastel that is really gorgeous look at that background nice. and as long as she did a setup for me i you know this wasn't planned but let me jump ahead under the note yep you know each month i do a weekend class if you're in the all good cards club you just automatically in it it's 15 dollars a month it's awesome this month we're going to be doing uh, fun little all kinds of, look at that, to the coolest friend other, all kinds of gift card holders. And keep in mind that a gift card holder is really basically a fun fold because you could put in a photo, a special note, a little treat. Doesn't need to be gift card holders, but gift card holders are the number one gift given now at holidays. So I always think it's fun to see some new ideas. And we do a bunch of ideas. So um, we'll put a thing in and see if if you're interested in that, Noelle Pemberton from, she is from, and I should know where you're from, Washington. See, I forget, I forget where people are from. Oh, is this gorgeous? A pocket card. Check this out. That, that is cool. That I was is looking at that. Very it cool. It is very masculine, very dark. It's very. Yes. Middle. Ooh, and look at even the inside. And she's done the snow in the roof. Oh, yeah. that is a gorgeous card, Noelle. Thank you. And that's thick snow. What is that? It's a, like pop paint oh, kind yeah. of a thing. Wow. But is that just cool? That is very cool. And I love that. And you know, Tim, this could make a good bookmark. bookmark. I know. Which is Tim's favorite thing. So I think this will disappear but. and do his world of bookmarks, you know. But but isn't that fun? And what a great way to gift something like that. And I love the trees. Gorgeous card. Thank you. Amanda Bach from Illinois. Ooh, I love this too. This is so fun. Um, look at this. Oh, Oh, and she's this is a thank you for a prize that she got over in the back porch stampers because you know I said we do weekly, weekly um prizes. This looks like uh, uh, the paper pumpkin that I didn't <laughs> put together, so I gave it a surprise because we were gone. But how cool is that envelope? Uh, you can tell me if I'm wrong, but and how cool is this with the strips? It's like a strip card, 
That's really a pretty card. I love it. And a great design that you could use any papers for. That is awesome. Oh, this is a card from my mother. You guys know that we couldn't see her. We haven't seen her yet for a birthday. Oh, from Kathy Murphy, Murphy from Illinois. But it's in the pile. I'm going to show it anyway. How cool is this? Oh, and I hadn't put out, I think, like, she turned 97. We didn't, we did plan to be with her on the, you know, the day before a staff tested positive. So now it's no visiting until everything gets cleared, but her attitude is so good. And I didn't put out, I know a few of you said you'd still love to send a late card. You can always send it to me and just put um, mom in the, you know, corner artist. Cause we get all of her mail, but it's also okay. I thought next year when she turns 98, I'll put out a request again and we'll shower with cards. But I thought, okay, I love this. And I want you to notice something about this. This is stamped. See, I remember, Kathy, when we did something similar to this, and I love what you did with that. I love this ribbon across here. So this is stamped with the stamps and then watercolored over. And do you see how it's picking up color? Mm. So it's a watercolor technique. So we need to do this again sometime because I love that look. Do you see how that's just, oh, Tim, this would be a great so technique for you. It's picking it up from It's picking it up from the stamp. And wow. you see how then it washes out? Yep. Isn't that a gorgeous look? Another great masculine it is. Um, type of idea there. So and that'd be a fun one to have you show us. Uh, oh, another one from Noelle. This is for me. Was the last one from you, Tim, from Noelle? Did she send us? Oh, this is gorgeous. She's still from Washington. No, so just, they're both oh, to Oh, they're you. both to me. Oh, say my, oh, how, how, oh, this is beautiful. <laughs> this is the, that new paper that came in. Uh, I don't remember, Nature's Beauty or something that was back ordered forever. Look how pretty that is. And the dev and the cutouts, love it. And the three step strips. Beautiful card. Oh, I'm double lucky from you today. That is awesome. That is gorgeous. Inside. Oh, Kat, uh, and Kathy, who did that watercolor card. Oh, look at that. Some people are just likable. You're one of those people. How sweet is that? I think this was meant for me. Kathy said that watercolored card. Yeah, that demo take that. <laughs> the watercolor card. She remember when I demoed it, and that's when she did it. And I thought that is so cool. Oh, and this is oh, this is an amazing card. Look at this. Uh, this is from Vesta. Um, is it Steve or Streep? I have to Streep. It is Streep. I get that wrong. I'm going to show you. This is an easel card. Oh, I didn't see how it stands up. Now, that. how cool is this? It's also a quilt card. And Vesta, if you're on here, you know, I have a downline. So she's my team member. Um, and a bunch of you, she's got a reputation as the card lady. She's absolutely wonderful. Julie, let me know if you're on here. And I can always put a link. Um, to where she's at. And I'm not sure if this is one of her cards. So see, I'm just advertising whenever I can think of a word because I like to just do shout outs, you know, to, to my team members. Um, but she does all, she's the quilt card lady. She does all kinds of quilt cards. So whether or not this idea came from her, Vesta, you tell me that, okay? If it is, uh, you're going to want to go see what she does. So I'll put up her information. Is that that is just, no, but that's just adorable. You see how it's a yeah. little 3D thing and it keeps it popped up? Really? And do you see how that, that is just stunning? Okay. And Vesta, if you're on here, oh, it is. It's one of Julie's designs. Okay. I was just thinking. And she does, um, she's got this whole little club thing. You guys will just want her to check it out. I am encouraging her to start YouTube. I know some of you are just on YouTube, so she'll be coming soon to YouTube, but she has an amazing thing going. And being a quilter, I just am just always really drawn to what she does. So Great shout out there. And that is a gorgeous, gorgeous card. And as Karen said, coming soon to YouTube. That's right. Coming soon. So, and then we, oh, this is just so fun, you guys. Okay. This is Linda Gray. And I said, so that is just so, I should really read these notes ahead in case there's anything important. But um, what a sweet card. But I don't and she's just it, loving so. the All Good Cards Club and all the things we're doing there. Oh, and this is, fun fold that we did lately. How I love this. Look at this belly band. This is happy on it. How cool is that? that? Is. And this is the fold we did a couple weeks ago that we called Mary's fold. That is so cool. Hippo. Look at that hippo birdie to you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, see, I let you put them back together. I oh, that is gorgeous. Okay. The reason <laughs> I didn't even see the inside of this one is that I didn't want to take it apart because I wasn't sure if it could be It's just gorgeous. But I will not. <laughs> love it. Love it. Love it. And Adele, I see you're on here. We're playing phone tag, so maybe we can chat after this. Another card for Noelle. Um, 
Pemberton. So you were just, we've been on your mind or something. This is so cool. So what a thank you to the, oh, and this is another gorgeous card. These are those angel stamps. Look what she's done with it. It is embossed and it's got shimmer. It looks like, um, I don't know if it's Wink of Stella all over it. It looks like it's embossed in gold, colored in Wink of Stella. And we've got the music folder behind and the little angel side. That is gorgeous. Well, what a fun. So you're, you are just really making us be special today. That's no kidding. pretty amazing. That Make, is so fun. Making you feel special. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> and Barbara Wesco from California. Oh, and she made, oh, how fun. She just sent a TP card. Okay, we have this coming up really soon. So if you're curious about TP cards, keep that in mind. We're going to be doing that on a, and she coming sent, up on a Thursday. Sent you the directions. So, oh, but how sweet is that? Yes, it's been a while since I've done these, but I thought, but it's on my list. You should see the list. I've got the next month planned out. So, <laughs> and then a whole list of things to go. That is lovely. That is beautiful. Love it, love it. So I think we're thinking along the same lines there. So I'll have to read your letter afterwards. Um, Mary, Mary Jackson. Oh, this is hilarious. Okay, Tim had to come show me this card <laughs> because he just saw Hank. And you know, since our grandson's name is Hank, he came and says, why would there be a card for Hank when he missed the T for Hank? And Thanks. I thought, is that hilarious? I love it because it's such a great you know, a second thought kind of thought. I love that. Thank you. Or it says itis. Itis. Titus, Hank, did you get that part? Not not right away. Hank or itis. Um, so this is like a puzzle card for Tim. Yes, it is. That is awesome. Mary, I, that's just a great card. <laughs> and we just had um, a lot of fun dealing with it and Tim figuring it out. So I said, that's really fun. And she did the inside too. That is, she says, I play way too much Scrabble. <laughs> Our son and his wife our big Scrabble players. I remember they uh, they were out in New York for a while. They were thinking they might live there and they didn't, but I remember they posted a picture out in front of the Central Library playing Scrabble. And we'd run into them all over at a coffee shop or something and they'd be out playing Scrabble. So I said, that is so fun. Oh, I love that. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and, and then we have, um, and then we have, I see the last name, I have to look in here. Evelyn Rossio from Maine. Oh, how cool is this? What a sweet <laughs> card. Look at a giggle. giggle. <laughs> I love wonderful. it. If you notice, she's got this stamped. And then do you see how she's done the the um Blender pen around it, kind of all around, kind of like the grass? That's from really cool. Missouri. And I oh, what did I say? I don't know. Maine. Is it, oh, is it I don't oh know. Massachusetts? No, Massachusetts. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Never mind. We better brush up on our states. <laughs> there will be a quiz next week. 01960. <laughs> Me. Connie's wondering if we're going to plan any road trips. Oh, we sure want to. We're hopefully going to make one just even right around Wisconsin, do a short one before it gets too cold to, mate, to meet outside. Because, you know, we're still just limiting our social life to outside things. And we're realizing winter's coming really soon. <laughs> so... Rebecca and some of you Wisconsinites around out that are on here, and we would love to come see you. So, and meeting outside, but the, but I also just love how this top, do you see how it just has a fun scalp. thing on the top like that? The scalp, yes. How cool is that? And we have one more. No, we don't. Oh, we've got, oh, Tim, it's something special. Ooh, good one. Cheryl Gaynor from Michigan. Oh, and here we've got the double time stamping that we just did a couple weeks ago. That has been so fun. Do you see how our leaves just connect right out there? Yep. And now, Tim, you know how those cards are yes, done because do. he thought that was just so fun to see because he hasn't seen those before. That is so fun. And I love the acorns. Yes. Yeah, that's an awesome card. Love that. And just a heads up, next week we are going to be doing fall cards. So, you know, we're kind of going to be looking and we're going to be doing um, different easy techniques for doing fall leaves cards. So that's just any of your leaf stamps. So that would be fun. So that's just a little heads up. And now to that, so that is gorgeous. Just, okay. I love seeing all the ideas that you guys do. Offer. Okay, so Tim got some. Oh, we both got something. Who is this Karen, from? Karen Karen. This is from? Leone Castro in California. And? Can we open up at the same time? There you go. Okay, sure. okay. Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh, I'm using this punch today. Look at that. Her rates your birthday. That is gorgeous. 
Oh, I'm also using this today. So, I'm, oh, see, you guys are just plants. You didn't know that. I love how she's got the little border on the inside. And her flowers, and this is stamped, and his little basket weave just goes with the daisies. That is gorgeous. Good. And Tim's got a moose. I got a moose <laughs> just for you. And wait till it. you see the inside. Oh, is that ever fun? That is awesome. Happy birthday. So that's what we call a W card. So we're going to look at that. And it says celebrate today. And it stands up at that. Oh, that is awesome. That is so, cool. so amazing. Oh, those are absolutely wonderful cards. And then, but she sent something too. She sent something. Okay. And it's time to open a gift. You want to open it? Sure. She, she did a very good job. Oh. Then we're not doing Oh, 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 is that, oh, is that, look at this. A salt and pepper shaker. Oh, that is just adorable. Look at that. Oh, oh there goes Tim's kitchen, My, the collection. Yep. That is fabulous. <laughs> that is. <laughs> oh, Leonie, that was a perfect thing. Oh, that we guys, is. we so appreciate those. We so appreciate that. That is just so fun. For now, we'll just put they it behind are. us by that. That is fabulous. They look like they're hand painted. Yes, they're. Oh, that's just really fun. <laughs> and then before we get started, one more other quick thing: the winner of this stamp set from last week, the turnovers that we had a lot of fun conversations about how they worked, is Melanie Foy. So Melanie, just message me your address, and that'll go right out in the mail to you. This week, the drawing you guys know these are all retired stamp sets. Anyway, way, this is what I love to do with them. This is. I don't know how old this was. This goes back quite a ways. But I always like to pick something that kind of goes with what we're doing. And I thought these could all work for fun little flowers to put on these shaker cards. So, you know, it might be a stretch, but I thought I just love all these little stamps. So we've got 12 seasons here, a flower for every month. Is that a, a great idea in every season? So that's for this month. All you need to do is comment and you are in the drawing, uh, commenting or sharing. Um, we appreciate both. We just absolutely love having you guys involved. And this is the new host code. And we haven't gotten any sentences yet that I saw. So I'm going to put out a request for that because, or I'm going to have Tim start working on it. <laughs> you can always find this by going to karentitus.com and it's right there on the right. But it's VRS6, BZPT. If you place an order, that's 150 or more though, don't use this because you get the host benefits. And if you have any questions about any of this, just give me a call. It's still celebration. So you still get freebies when you order. And I think, oh, I was gonna come in here. One more thing. You notice that one card had um, things from these. The cards I'm using today, I am using this. And I thought I should really point this out. This is on page 42 in the catalog. And it is. There are many happenings and many messages. And then there's a die you can get to go with this. You can stamp all this. And so you can see that's what I've done. I'm actually running low now. I'll have to do more. I have this set. And now there's a new one that has a whole bunch more. And you get all these different sizes of things. So I go ahead and just make some of these. In, so you in stamp it and then cut them out? It's one great big stamp. Hmm. And then you put oh. this die over oh, it wow. and it cuts them all out at the same time. Very it's efficient. been very popular. So I just wanted very to point efficient. that out because that's where most of my words are coming from today. And sometimes I'll get questions. And the other thing is people have asked about clear envelopes. They're also in the catalog. Page 47. Okay, that's page 47. The clear envelopes are on page 136. It's $6 for 50 of them. And I use them for storing my cards in because they don't get... You know, if you spill anything on them or just even fingerprints. So when I put cards away for safekeeping and to look at later, that's what I put in them. So anyway, this is what we're doing today. And I just think these are so much fun. Oh, you guys loved all the cards. So that is wonderful. Um, yeah, Linda says that she gets lots of ideas on the tutorials, but also on the cards that people send. And Beth says that too. She gets really inspired when she sees other people's work. And I agree. And that's, you know, this whole thing about community over in the back porch stampers. That's what I just love about that group. Because you can share any of your work over there. We always have um, a challenge for the week. And so this week it will be Faker Shaker. But you can share your other work there too. It's just so fun to be inspired by what people are doing. So anyway... 
we are going to make these today. I was going to quickly just show once again, this is the one that I did for the 12 weeks of Christmas that went up yesterday. And I made a second one to finish my thing. And I made it as a birthday card because this would not need, this is the, those trees. And I just wanted to point out the things like this don't need to be for Christmas. You can hear the, oh, this is, I think the second week we've had a lovely train in the background. That means that the conductor is not watching our show. It's only like a mile long and it just goes from, it's a business. It goes from a business, it hauls cement or something <laughs> to business. Okay, all you need to make these is your base card, which could go either direction. And then we go quarter inch smaller. So that's five and a quarter by four, quarter inch smaller yet. So five by three and three quarters. And then we just need our envelope and then whatever we're going to put in the shakers on these. And, you know, I was looking for a card. I got a card from Debbie Bacon if she's on here, but I couldn't find it. I was in a rush. She sent me a shaker card with sand in it. She's from Florida. And we um, got together with her and her husband when we were down there in Florida. And it was adorable. So think other things too. Sand is perfect. I bet it was white sand. Yes. And we couldn't just go get sand at our lake and have it look so pretty. Um, but also if you're a, a, do any beading or anything, little tiny beads, there's all kinds of things you could put in. So anyway, these are my pieces. I'm using the subtle shimmer sequence. And these are the same ones I used on that Christmas one. But you guys, this is it. So now to make these, we just slip this in. Here, Tim, I'm gonna have you just pull off some of these for me. And then okay. check this out. I'm just going to put this in the back and close it up. And now we're gonna put this in. And I'm gonna put in all of them. There's not that many left, okay? And then I can, I can sometimes I close that off and do that, but sometimes I think it's just easier to just use tape again. Okay, so I'm gonna use your tape. And we're gonna put that on here. Okay, this almost doesn't need a show. Now you're gonna just wait a while. Almost doesn't need a show. Look at you guys, how cute and simple is that? <laughs> I think now this is both a fun idea to share with kids how to make. It's also fun cards to send a kid. So uh, keep that in mind. And then we're just gonna put it on there. So I will do this one completely. So, and, and what I have found, okay, I will. So here, I'll do a little bit more tape. I wanna make sure I get some of this just taped, taped down well so it doesn't stick up. One more. And then I am going to put this around. We just want something that's going to... Okay, so how many of you have made one of these? Well, that's always a... I realize I'm gonna show you, I, I did a couple videos last year on this, which is always just kind of fun. You know, I think... I love using old ideas that we've done and then just updating them with new stuff. Do oh, I'm should I undo it, Tim, yeah. and add that one? No, okay. but I thought maybe it leaked because maybe it, maybe it fell out. Okay, now I'm going to put some ribbon on here if I find it. If I can see my ribbon, I thought I had ribbon out here. But if I don't, we will pretend this take, one. Take the ribbon out this, of your out of your hair. This one <laughs> will be ribbonless. Okay, and this really is okay, because then we'll make it without ribbon, so we'll just see. You know, Tim is looking on my um, the table next to me, but there's a whole lot of stuff on it, but you crafters all know that. <laughs> if you hear any crashes, uh, anything spilling, you'll just know that's what it is. So I'm going to put this on, but that's okay. We can contrast this without being a ribbon. Now I am going to just attach that. And you know what? I'm going to use my favorite thing, which is glue dots. <laughs> I use so many of these, but they're just so, they're just so easy. And I can do these, you know, outside, in the car, anywhere. I don't think I got one on there. No, I didn't. Okay. And she does. I do. So I have my glue dots everywhere. So how cool is that? And then I just took, now this is, these little penguins are from the Penguin Playmate 
designer series paper. So is the paper behind here. This is one of the free options with a $50 order. And they have so many adorable images that are easy to cut out. So I just keep a bunch of them cut out in little bags, just like I showed the other. So I'm just gonna put him on. I'll just put these two friends on. And I thought, is that just an adorable friendship card? And just look how it shakes. <laughs> That is just so cute. And I could add words if we wanted. But I think that is so fun. I And we're going to do another one out of this set too. So this next one, I'll do another the same. Now, you can see this is the same. And I'm using, there are these little penguins that fit with the Penguin Builder Punch in the paper also. This would also be adorable using the stamp set. So, you know, this could be, once the paper's gone, you could also just make your own. But for this, I'm using the actual little shaker shapes that we have in the in the um, a catalog. And then the paper on this one, I think that is very pretty, is from the host set package. So with the $150 order, you can get, this is one of the host, it's a whole bunch of paper you can get for $18. So it is awesome. We're going to do the same thing. And remember, this is, it is, uh, the envelopes are on page. They are on page 136, and you'll see where the other envelopes are. You can get Whisper White, Vanilla, and then below that, it's clear envelopes. So it's $6 for 50. You actually can mail these if you put labels over them, but my favorite thing, I put, I keep cards in here. So if you ever have special cards or, you know, I love the idea when you make a card, make one to keep so you have the idea and one to send and then put yours in here and, and you can look through it for years. It'll just stay nicely. So that's where they're from. By the way, if anyone needs a catalog, just let me know. We just send them out for free and we're thrilled to send them out. And to see how this is, it's just fun because this is just enough smaller. So it's just gonna layer on all these. Okay, I'm ready for more tape. And this paper is so fun because it's got a lot of black and white things. Oh, I better, okay, I'll do that one right here. I was gonna say, I better put my, I better yes, put my shapes in first or it is not. It's going to be a very underwhelming shaker card. But aren't these cute? So I'll put a bunch of these in. Shake them up. Okay. And this time I think I'm going to do this to see if I can get them, get all my ends on there nicely. None of it matters. Okay. So how cool is that? So here is my shaker thing again. Very cool. We'll finish this one up, and then we're going to move on to... Doing... Again with no ribbon. Yeah, I know. That's what I said. Or... You know, I put one back on the shelf. I thought I had one out here, so I put what I thought was my second, and obviously it was my first. Yes. Um, do you think it looks better with ribbon? Because I could just no. wait. I don't know that they really need the ribbon, because nope. this maybe instead should have um, one of the words... You look through the words, Tim. Here's a good job. Okay. Look through the words and find something that would be okay. perfect to put on there. That's a really good idea because, you know, one thing we know about us crafters, we're adaptable. We can uh, we can go with the flow and we can substitute. Oh, it sounds like some of you are going to order clear. You know, the clear envelopes are something you just don't even notice in the catalog until you kind of see them being used. But I think they're wonderful to have on hand. And they're also a nice little gift. If you have a crafter friend and you just ever want to give something just a little thoughtful, little embellishments or something like the clear envelopes or just something kind of fun or just a little extra. Okay, I'm not gonna finish this because this is just so easy. This is just a punch. I put them on and I use two different words from the set. So this one's a oh, happy day and this one's sending a smile your way. Now, the next one we're going to do, um, this is using a larger thing. These are actually bigger flowers. So experiment. Bigger things work well, too. And um, so I think that's just kind of a fun, you know, it still shakes. And what I wanted to show about this, so this is what we're going to make. And I wanted to show how we kind of get this. Do you see how this flower? I took it to be like these flowers. So I wanted them curved out at the end. Um, uh, the stamp says and the dies. Oh, actually, uh, th these are not. This is just a punch that I'm using. 
All of the rest of this is just paper. This is the free paper with the $50 order. Someone is asking again about it. There is a penguin punch, builder punch. I think it's on back order right now, but it's still, it is an awesome. And it's one of the choices you can get free if you buy the starter kit right now too. Um, but so it's the penguin builder punch set that could be used. But keep in mind, I made all these with the free, just with the free paper and a little fussy cutting. So keep that in mind. Now this is the smaller of the daisy punches. And let's see. So I'm going to take three, three of these because I just wanted a little filled in look. So this is my thing that I'm going by. And notice I could just do this. And that makes a really cool look too. I could also have them uh, pulling out. So this is what I just wanted to talk about. So we'll show this. I just love that you can take, you know, one thing and just make them all different. So I'm just gonna come through and pop a few of those. But I wanna show, look how cool this is. Do you see how you can also do it this way, which is a fun look. You know, Cause you know, we crafters, we live in the land of possibilities. Okay, so this would be a whole nother look and then the ones that were just flat. So I have three different styles I could make out of my three things here. And then I have a little circle punch I just put in the, and of course my little piece disappeared. But since we're doing this one today, that's what I was gonna focus on, but they're even put together the same way. So I'm using, oh, this is a half inch punch. I just did that to add that. Again, so it kind of would coordinate with that. And then uh, this was the punch that I used in the other things. And this was just the flower punch. So now if I wanted it to go this way, I would put my glue dots underneath this way. Since I'm flipping them over, I'm going to put them on this way. And I'm just going to put them on like cattywampus, you know, our new favorite word is stampers because it gives you a whole lot of freedom. <laughs> And then I need one for the bottom. And to see how that's all just really popped up. When I add one more on the bottom, and then here, put, just push that in. And it'll <laughs> stick in there and just see how it puffs up on the outside. Isn't that fun? Mm -hmm. And I can just add the other little piece I want. So I could do all kinds of different colors with this. So this card, we don't need to do. It's just done the same. But then this is my accent part. And it all just kind of came from the idea of the flowers there. So are these shakers? Or, yeah. Oh yeah. Goodness, oh, you guys, thanks for responding to each other. So you're all figuring it out. Um, and Connie even put um, the, the order number on there. Perfect. And Rhonda says she loves this fabulous community. Oh, I just love it. Oh, Rhonda did. I have to find this. She did fakers for the holidays last year, and she used kosher salt. Okay, a whole nother idea. So this is what we expect to see over in the back porch stampers, all kinds of unusual ideas because <laughs> it's all just fun. So we all get our creativity on, and we kind of focus on an idea, and I just think that is so fun. So I, now- Do I show them what I did? Oh, yes. Oh, okay. I haven't glued them down, but- I like that. Okay, let's, let's glue it down. Okay, I'm gonna, I'll put this on and you'll put it where you want. Thank you for being you is perfect because yeah. it's like you're thanking the other yeah. person and it's like friend to friend. I, I put some thought into this. Now, <laughs> and, and it's really kind of fun to look at words that yeah. you already have set and ready to go. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, very cool. And then, oh, happy day. Well, why not? Because it's your birthday. That's okay, right. see, I, I just think how fun is that? Okay, you can put this one on. And then you can put this one on. And I guess I could have popped these up too. I didn't, but but these are just really fun. Okay, and then one more that I just made today. Um, let's see. This is a, um, I'm not thinking this is the best background. I don't know. Can you kind of see in there, Tim? No. So I did the red and white. It's a little hard to see. It is. It is yeah. But when you shake it, it's really fun. This is, but I'm thinking more of one of the stripes or one of the other patterns. You know, this is that um, Christmas paper that just has all kinds of uh, fun things in it. Cause I love the idea and I loved these little 
gingerbread pieces, but just be aware you can use all kinds. Oh, there you can kind of see it. I think it's just too busy of a background, but other than that, I love the effects. I'm going to have to make another one and make it a little yep. softer background. So you see it more, but I think it's really fun. I love the trees ornaments or the, whatever you call that decoration. Yes. Isn't that fun? And these are just cutouts too. So you guys, again, this is just paper. I'm cut out this paper and this paper in the same. This is the six by six paper pack that somebody could tell us what it is. You know, I love focusing on paper because we can all use whatever paper we have at home. I mean, I think there's just so many things that would be cute to do with this. I just think it's really fun. Or you can you can use stamps, but you know, I'm going for quick and easy. So <laughs> this was a card we made in one of my retreats last year. My next retreat's going to be late October, so we'll watch for that coming. But we made a finger shaker there. And this was the ice cream paper last year. And isn't that awesome? Yeah. I think that is, I love this card. I think that was just so fun. So if anyone has any of that paper left. And those kinds of little things go on ice cream. So that's. Yes, little ice cream sprinkles. Sprinkles, yeah. So that's just a little preview of that. And then this was one, I did a really short video. Sometimes you do videos that are like three, between three and five minutes on YouTube. And I did this faker shark, faker shaker card. Was this last, this thing, this was last year. So I think it was a year ago out of last year. And again, this is just cut out from the paper. Both of these are from the same paperback. Paperback, paperback. I'm thinking books, paper pack. <laughs> but I like paperback books though too. Uh, so those are oh just my goodness. Those a those bunch of me. ideas of what, of what to do with these. <laughs> so now it's your turn. And that's just so fun. I get to sit back and watch what everybody else makes. So thank you. Angela says it's your first time in your life. We are so glad to have you here. We just are, we count, we are so grateful every day that we get to do this, we that we have you guys in our community and that we get to do something that's just really fun and thoughtful and creative and something we all get to do to impact our little corner of the world. I just think it's so needed now. And you guys totally impact us. The paper again, um, the pattern paper is five inches by three and a quarter. And I'm going to tell you how you know that. Your base card, which could go either direction, a standard base card in the U.S. is five and a half by four and a quarter. So when you go a quarter inch down, that's your next paper. That's going to be a quarter inch down. So it's five and a quarter by four. The pattern paper is a quarter inch down further. It's just how we usually map things anyway. So that is five inches by three and three quarter. So you're just going quarter inch down. But now I'm going to let you in on another secret. It really wouldn't matter if you made your paper smaller. I thought about doing that. And I thought, no, this is enough. I'm trying to learn to, <laughs> it's just a little busy. But I think this would be really fun if the shaker were smaller. So you guys go for that and post some pictures like that. So my answer could be, it really doesn't matter what size it is. It's whatever size you want it to be. <laughs> oh, LaVar, that's so sweet. Well, LaVar, we hope to be coming your way. So um, anyway, that'll be fun really soon. So anyway. and this, thanks for being you. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. We appreciate you guys. Thank you yep. so much. Have a wonderful weekend. Let me know. I will put links up to Julie's quilt things um, and to my, um, you know, we do have fun on the weekends. The Olga Cars Club for the gift cards and anything else that I can think of. <laughs> but anyway, thanks guys. Have a wonderful weekend. Goodbye. Bye.